Length is a measurement of distance, the distance from one point in space to another. You also use length to measure the size of objects. For example, the distance from one city to another is measured using units of length. The measurements of the edges of a box are also measured using units of length. To measure length, we need a system of units. Once again, remember there's more than one type of unit to measure length. Small distances or small objects are measured using small length units, while large distances and large object objects are measured using large units. For example, the size of your phone would be measured using small units of length because your phone is a small object. But the size of the earth would be measured using large units. You can measure the size of the earth using smaller units of measure, but then the number would be way too big to work with. There are two popular systems of units to measure distance. In the United States, the smallest unit of length is an inch. Other units are foot, yard, mile. So for inch, you might sometimes see it abbreviated with an I-N. For foot, the abbreviation would look like this, F-T, and yard, Y-D. All of these units are related to one another in the following way. One foot equals 12 inches. One yard equals three feet. One mile is equal to 1,760 yards. And so you can see that these also have plural. And so if we're talking about more than one inch, we say inches with an ES on the end. If we're talking about more than one foot, we would say feet, and then yards and miles with an S on the end. Anything smaller than one inch, because as I mentioned, the inch is the smallest unit of measure, but anything that, that's smaller than an inch is given in fractions of an inch. So sometimes you will see, for example, one half of an inch. And so that would be half of the smallest unit of measure. Or you might see it like this, one quarter of an inch, one eighth of an inch. In daily life, we use rulers, measuring tape, and yardsticks to measure length or distance. In the metric system, the base unit of length is called a meter. So let's look at the length measurements, measurement units in the metric system. We'll start with the smallest, which is millimeter, and then centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, and kilometer or kilometer, depending on how you pronounce it. All units used to measure the length have the word meter as their suffix. They all end with the word meter. This one, meter, just has the word meter in it with nothing before it. But all of them contain the word meter. It's the base unit of measurement for length. Sometimes you'll see meter written M-E-T-E-R mostly in the United States, and in other countries, you might see it written M-E-T-R-E. -E. Both ways are pronounced meter, and they're both correct, with the E-R or spelled with an R-E. They all also have an abbreviated version of these longer names. So for millimeter, we have simply two M's, millimeter. For centimeter, you'll see cm, for decimeter, dm, for meter, simply an m, and then for decameter, a dcm. This is the only one with three letters in the abbreviated version. 
hectometer, HM, and kilometer or kilometer, KM. Now you need to be extra careful when you're working with a decimeter or decameter. Since they both begin with a D and then have the meter, we can't use DM for both of them. And so you'll see for decameter, there's a C in between and it's DCM. Sometimes it's easy to get these confused. Just like a foot is equal to 12 inches, and that's the relationship between those, these all are related to each other as well. But they're related in a little simpler way. They're all multiples of 10. And so what we can see here is that each bigger unit is always 10 times the immediate smaller unit. So a centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. A decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. A meter is equal to 10 decimeters. Decameter is equal to 10 meters. Hectometer is equal to 10 decimeters. And a kilometer is equal to 10 hectometers. In real life, the most common metric units of length that you will see will be the millimeter, the centimeter, the meter, and the kilometer. Normally, you pick a unit to use for your measurement based on the distance or the length. To measure a really small distance, you would use millimeters. For example, the width of a piece of hair or the width of a pin. To measure slightly bigger distances or slightly large, longer lengths, you would use centimeters. So for example, the edge of a piece of paper or even the height of your bike. To measure large distances, you would use kilometers. So for example, the distance between two cities. For other distances, like how far a sprinter runs a race, you would use meters. Remember though, if you use other units to measure any of these distances, you would still be correct, but your numbers may be way too small or way too large to use.